Eldrick Tiger Woods. Check out what I got, guys. So I'm about to do something that has never been done on YouTube. Look at, you see it? He's got a little Marco. bump. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian fish keeper. And if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and introduce myself. My name is Brother Mel. I have 11 tanks and three ponds. Oh my God. Yeah, three ponds. This is Tiki Falls. I have a bunch of koi and various goldfish inside Tiki Falls, as you can see. A bunch of tiki's too as well hence the name tiki falls now over here we have the above ground pond which has nothing in it but a bunch of water due to the rain here in northern california uh but like i said in previous videos this is going to all of those that are new to the channel we got big plans for this right here big plans now i'm in front of the house where i have this beautiful water feature which i converted see the basin down there into a little mini pond Ooh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Speaking of mini ponds, check this out. Check out what I got, guys. An Aquascape Aqua Garden mini pond kit. This is a complete pond kit with a waterfall. It has everything in it. Look at, check it out. You can buy plants for the upper part here. It comes with the media. It comes with gravel for the bottom base in there. It even comes with a light that illuminates the waterfall. I think it comes underneath here. So it gives it that nice look. You can have this like maybe in your on your patio maybe inside it's indoor and outdoor use we can fill this with something guys oh i can make this look so tropical uh give me some ideas down in the comments okay look at this it comes with everything look at that upper gravel it comes with the the media right there and then the lower me uh gravel oh man i'm so excited to set this up now i was gifted that by my boy ralph ralph with pondscapes ralph with pondscapes what's up guys it's ralph with pondscapes yeah it came to my door i had no idea it was coming shocked me there's only one person that i know that would send something like that to me and that's my boy ralph over at pondscapes az he's based out of arizona but if you want a water feature in a beautiful natural pond he does make house calls i've seen him travel out of state to build ponds beautiful go check out his work i'll leave all of his links to his youtube channel and his instagram channel down in the description below i'm telling you guys you won't be disappointed go check out his work beautiful once again ralph i really appreciate that little mini pond kit it's gonna go to use and i can't wait to play with it but not only that if you guys want to see the video that we did we kind of did a collabo um it was about hydrostatic pressure on ponds i'll leave a card up above go click that card check out the video very informative and it makes sense for people that are new to the pond hobby and building their own pond it just puts things into perspective like hmm didn't know about that hydrostatic pressure go check out that video other than that once again ralph and all of the staff there in arizona at pondscapes az i really appreciate all the love and support mahalo guys okay so we're in the house right now here is zeus my ocellaris peacock bass this is tupac down here my jack dempsey and right here in the background is my red tiger motoquince better known as eldrick tiger woods tiger, 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 tiger woods, beautiful man he is getting big guys look at he's forming a like nuchal hump on his forehead ocellaris peacock bass look at you see it he's got a little bump they do form that once they get to a certain maturity look at that though he's getting big he's pushing around 14 inches yeah, that's a damn lie. he's right there right there guys so this is one of the tanks one of 11 tanks okay all right my ohana so check it out on my community tab on my YouTube page, I post a lot of like voting polls. I love these. These are kind of uh, things that make you go, hmm. But not only that though, I like to interact. It's a way of interacting with you guys, my ohana. Go check it out, okay? At the top of my YouTube channel, it says community. Click the community tab and then you'll see all the posts. I just post things of things that make you think a little bit like, would you go diving with sharks? Uh, this one here tickled me though. <laughs> this one made me laugh. Uh, it, it was the post on uh, voting what your favorite emoji was. Check it out. You see it? Yeah, it's the laughing out loud. That's kind of like the more popular one. And then this is what fascinates me and cracks me up inside. It hit me and I started laughing was the 12% or so of you that use the eggplant emoji. That, hilarious. I thought I was the only one that used that. I gotta get three smiling faces in an eggplant. 
You see, and that's why I love my Ohana. You guys crack me up. So I appreciate all the love and support on the community tab. Keep it up. And if you haven't been there, go check it out and place your votes. There's a bunch of different ones. And I think I'm going to add a new one here soon. So check it out, the community tab. I love my Ohana. Now here's another aquarium that I have here in the living room, guys. It has my huge, long, thin Oscar big. It has Lamont, my lemon Oscar. Not as big, but he's getting there. And then my Severums. I got Redbone here, and we got Robert Van Winkle, better known as Vanilla Ice. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, these guys are doing great, but let's get into the video now. And it has something to do with that right there. Now, you guys already know I rant and rave about the Seachem title by CJ. Now, let me show you something on this. If you look right here on the top, this little baby blue, uh, I guess it's like a little buoy, it popped up, meaning this is ready to be serviced, which I love about this. I, you know, every uh, hang on the back filter has its own little mechanism that may show you, you know, when it's ready for service, but the colors is what strikes me. So like, I could be over here, far away from the tank, and I can actually see it right there popped up or if I'm walking by the tank, you know? So it, it really stands out. I just glance over there, I can see this little blue buoy here popped up, and uh, that means it's ready for service. So I'm about to do something that has never been done on YouTube. You know that old saying, right? Does everybody say that? I'm about to service this title, Hang on the Back, by CJ, with one hand. Yeah, this is how much I love these HOBs, Hang on the Back filters. One hand, I'm gonna show you how easy it is, and that's why I'm gonna have one of these on all my aquariums. That's just me, all right? All right, let's get into it. The first thing you wanna do is unplug it, okay? Make sure you unplug your hang on the back filter. All right, now that we have it turned off, I wanna show you guys a couple bells and whistles, all right? So you see this little dial right here? This actually controls the flow of the skimmer. Oh, hey, what's up, big? The skimmer right here, as you see those little vents right up in there? Yeah, that's the skimmer. Yeah, it has a little built-in skimmer. What HOB you know has a skimmer like that, right? And then not only that though, as you go down, there is another dial right there. You see that dial? That dial actually controls the intake valve right there. So you can make adjustments on the water flow of the intake valve. And then of course, this is the heater. But not only that though, the Seachem title by CJ comes with a heater holder so it just snaps into place it keeps the heater off to the side love this little bell and whistle now if you want any further details on the ccam title by cj i did a video uh broke it down for you guys i will leave the link up above go click the link go check out the video and then come back to this one but i'm just showing you guys in this video how easy it is to service. It is like probably the easiest, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it right now. It is the easiest hang on the back filter to service for your aquarium. Just saying. I'm gonna take the lid off, right? Here is the lid. There is the basket inside the HOB hang on the back filter. Um, actually, I'm gonna switch it around this way, okay? I'm gonna show you guys something. You see these little notches here, one here? and one here, watch what happens. Uh, not only that though, I wanna show you guys the lip of this tray and why it has, you know, I wanna say it's maybe about a half inch lip from here to here, all the way around, okay? And it's got little grooves and whatnot. So we're gonna flip this around this way. And you see this little blue lever right here? We're gonna slide it back. This is what holds the basket down. So once we, un once we slide it back, we can remove the basket. Now this is the part where I'm gonna show you, we're doing this with one hand, okay? Lift up this side, I'm gonna lift up this side, and voila, look at this. One hand action, I'm telling you guys, never been done, never been done. Look at that, mm, look at that, huh? So you can see it dripping, right? You see all that drip? We're just gonna let it drip for a little bit. Once that drip is complete, you take it, boom! Hop it right over here. And see those grooves right there? Those grooves are gonna fit right into the basket. So basically, it's gonna hold your basket on this tray. So I'm just trying to find a little groove there. There, there, there they go. See that? Now, guess what this is? Yeah, it's a tray. So now you won't spill water when you go to, uh, let's say you go to the sink, 
to do a little rinse out, but for us, I got aquarium water already set up. So look it. Do 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 do. Yep, you're just gonna balance it like a tray. And right down here below is aquarium water, where we're gonna service this. And you can see it hold the water pretty good. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna go ahead and just set this whole tray in here because I can. And this is all one hand still, guys. Just you know, letting you guys know, giving you a heads up. One hand. This is what I love about it. The whole basket comes out. You know what I mean? Look at that. The whole basket comes out. So go ahead and uh, take this out. Put this on our towel here. Bingo, bango. Bingo, bango. Bingo, bango. Take our bag of media out. Look at that. Pretty gunky, right? It's all right, though. We're going to set that down in there. We have our sponges. Look at that, huh? Pretty messy, dirty, right? We're going to clean this all up, though. And this is the original sponge that it came with. So what I did was I kind of modified it. You'll see it in the video. I cut two sponges out. This black one is a little bit thicker than the Seachem sponge that it comes with. So go ahead and rinse this out, which is really easy and convenient. One hand, guys. I'm just letting you guys know. One hand, okay? I'm going to put this down here on our towel. And give these sponges a little cleaning. See that? A little squishy squish. Bingo for this one. Ah, we're gonna put the blue one down at the bottom, down there, and then we're gonna grab this black one here. And this is how you clean sponges, guys. Aquarium water, make sure you got aquarium water, right? We wanna keep this uh, beneficial bacteria in our sponges and in our media as much as we can. There we go, you can see that water too, right? It's pretty nasty. Ooh, look at that, huh? And then we're gonna go ahead and put the black sponge down in the basket too. And look how much room that you have for media. I'm just saying, look at that. It's a lot of room, but don't worry. We have a big bag full of media here. Hmm, look at that, huh? So if you guys are wondering what kind of media I use, this right here is black lava rock. You can kind of see it through the bag. And then Matrix by Seachem. Okay, just gonna give you a heads up what's in here, okay? The uh, black lava rock was already cycled. So I'm gonna grab this big bag and we stick it right back down in the basket. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Look at that, just like that. We're just gonna grab it and we're gonna stick it right back down in the HOB. It goes all the way down and then don't forget, to lock it in place and now this can't rise once the water comes up the basket can't rise up okay that's what this locking mechanism is another bell and whistle it's awesome right so let's go ahead and grab our cover see look at that huh see can buy see there we go all right plug it in and there you have it pretty quiet right listen Super quiet for a hang on the back filter. The motor is inside the aquarium, okay? So the motor's not on the outside, as you can see. What it looks like from the side. So you don't have to uh, prime it with water. It's self-priming, which is really cool. You just plug it in, make sure the water level's at the right height. There's a little marker down up over here on how high the level needs to be, the water. It's actually right there. Once you plug it in, bingo, bango. Bingo, bango. Bingo, bango. I'll take the lid off so you can kind of see and get an idea of it. Pretty cool, nice flow. You can make adjustments on it. You can see the flow here. I'll turn this dial. Look at that. Turns it down significantly, right? Find a nice little happy medium on this. Pretty good, right? Not bad, huh? That's cranked up all the way. I like to turn it down just a notch so we get some good flow. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Take a look. My favorite, I'm just saying, if you guys haven't tried it, don't knock it till you try it. You know that saying? 
I, I love it better than the Aqua Clear. I'm just saying, you know, the Aqua Clear was my go to. Like, I know a lot of you guys out there. But this right here, so many more bells and whistles. They really took their time uh, in the design of this hang on the back filter. And like I said, go check out that link. It's basically a product review that I do, and I break it down and just show you all the pros on this thing. Bells and whistles, guys. Now, I don't want you to throw that water away that we just got done making, right? This water here is a lot of nutrients for your grass, for your plants. So I'm gonna dump it here. I normally dump it here. I dump some on, dump some on the Sago Palm. Yeah, this is good stuff. Lots of nutrients in fish doo-doo. It's not a joke though. It really is a natural fertilizer for plants and grass and anything living that lives in the ground. So Ohana, the Sea Chem title by CJ, you gotta get one, you will not be disappointed. And I can't express to you guys how much I love this hang on the back filter. As you saw, one hand maintenance, but not only that though, it was pretty fast. You guys saw it. I mean, that was pretty much real time. I mean, it was one hand. If I had two hands, it would be even faster. As you've seen, it's just basket, release, plop, drop, plug, play. So easy. Go pick one up. I'll have a link of the product review down in the description below too as well. So click on it. Go check out the product review. I will see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha.